today we have a 2000 Lexus GS300. We'll be replacing the rearward lower control arm bushing, aka this arm right here, or I believe it's also called a radius arm. We'll be replacing this bushing here. Um, so funny thing, the wheel lock went missing overnight. No idea where it went. So I'm gonna be doing this with the wheel on. Should be still pretty easy. Let's get it started. I had to take off the, this cross member here first. Uh, 14s all around just drop it out right down this side here so let's go ahead and start getting this off this is going to be number 19 number 14 let's go ahead and move those two and see what we work all right now with all this removed we're going to come over here to number 19 bolts pull these out and we're going to go ahead and slide this control arm out now later on we will have to mess up all this to get it back in but now that's like this and this pushing is pretty bad as you can see it'll be pretty simple to just slide it out so once we remove these we just pull down and slide it out Okay, so we got that removed, these two bolts removed, now you can see the So we're gonna yank down on that, and slide it out. Now let's get ready to replace this bushing here. All right, also I have the control arm here sitting on a vise. Um, so this would be the bottom portion. As you can see, there's a flare from the original bushing here. The other side won't have this flare. So what we're gonna have to do here is actually using a chisel, I'm just gonna use an air hammer here, make my life fa uh, easier and faster. Uh, we're gonna just, hit all the flares upward so that we can get exposed the actual control arm part beneath this. Um, some people, they'll cut all this out and then do, I don't know why, but we're gonna do it this way. We're just gonna go ahead and flare this out and then we'll get to the next step of pushing the bushing. Okay, so I'm here at the press now, but you can see where I flared out that inner bushing there. So with a, a larger cup that fits the diameter of the control arm itself, I'm just gonna set that in there. So see, Nice and snug, enough room for it to drop out. And then flipping it over with another cup, I have to hold that uh, whenever I start pressing it. Another cup that is the inner diameter of the bushing. We're gonna go ahead and place that here and go ahead and press this old bushing out. Okay, so a little quick view here. I'm gonna put this down so you can see the bushings. As come out. Both of my cups still there. So now I'm going to do is just clean this up a little bit, make our life easy when we put the bushing in, make sure there's no scarring on here that can affect the uh, new bushing. So we have our new upgraded bushing here. Um, if you look at it closely, you'll see that one end flares out more than the other. Now, they don't mention anything about this, but to me, this larger area should be at the bottom where um, we flared out the uh, old bushing out of. So I'm just gonna keep that in mind. So before we put this in here, we're gonna remove the metal sleeve as well as the bushing for the stud uh, on the vehicle. So just, you know, push it out. And then we're gonna grease the heck out of this with the, uh, I guess the silicone based grease that they give us. And then just press it straight into the uh, um, control arm here. Now, because this portion also sticks out, just gonna have to put another cup at the bottom just for it to press under or, you know, to go through so it doesn't just flush with the, uh, bottom here so let's go ahead and remove this grease is up and get ready to press this in so i got this all nice and greased up i'm just gonna go ahead and press it straight in there you can also use a mallet to hit it in but just to get it all evenly in no headaches for me i'm gonna just press it in like so all right our new upgraded little bushing here is all installed um so now i'm just gonna insert that middle sleeve in there and get ready to install into the vehicle Okay guys, so I tried doing something a little different than I did on the other side. Um, on the other side, I pretty much had to loosen all this, so this was all free because of the way that this was going in. Now, however, I realized what my issue is, is this bushing here because of it's like a uh, thicker towards the end on this end than it is on the top, so it's just getting caught. So pretty much what I'm doing is just hitting it in until I get enough threads to uh, just use a nut to just push it all the way in. Once I do that, we can just get everything together. All right, guys, so after a little beating, I was able to get some threads and just put my nut on and just hit it in or zapped it in to get it flush. So you can see there's a little bit of tearing on the outer portion, but it's okay. It's not gonna affect the uh, integrity of it. It's just the lip of it, so. But I did have to do one thing. I had to remove two tens, one bolt, one nut and to get this uh, sway bar link out the way, as well as a 19 nut and a 17 bolt to get the strut um, off of the 
lower control arm here. So I basically I do the exact same thing on the other side. Um, I was hoping I can get away with it because of the way it lined up, but as much as I was beating at this over here, it just wouldn't budge until I got it pretty much flush. So now let's just line up these two 19 millimeter bolts here and get this lined up. And then we'll tighten all this back up and tighten it all down. Okay guys, so everything is installed now. All these 14s at 19, 19, 19. Uh, I flipped the bolt just to make my life easier here. This is a 17 bolt with a 19 nut on this end, the two tens. So pretty much everything is tightened down and good to go. Um, one thing I did notice what you can do to make your life a little easier is with a 19 wrench, you can grab it here to help uh, line it up better so it's like flat and not skewed a little bit. But that's pretty much it, you guys. So thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, more videos to come.